So Higgspill AI just released a new feature called Soul ID, which is basically just a way to make a more personalized and consistent character within Higgspill AI. So basically, you can upload up to 70 pictures, somewhere between 20 to 70 pictures of yourself or maybe somebody else with their permission. And then you can throw in an AI model to look at the face, look at the character. So the next time you, you are creating a new photo, it will be using the same face or the same character. And you can make the person to be wearing a different clothes or maybe a different environment, different situation, different team. And the result is going to be quite realistic because Higgs feels very good at making an authentic and realistic photo. So here's how you can train photos into Higgsfield AI. First, let's navigate to Higgsfield.ai and you can log in with your account. But it is important for you to know that right now to train a character, to create a character, you have to spend 30 credits. You will spend 30 credits and that's only possible if you subscribe to at least to the basic plan, which is going to cost you $9 per month and will give you 150 credits, which is more than enough to create a character. And after that, you can navigate to character. Now you can click create character. So here, uh, you want to prepare up to 70 pictures. The minimum is 20, but if you want to get a better result, then I do recommend to get closer to 70. And make sure that the photos are clear, the face are visible. Do not use a group photo. Do not use a photo where you're wearing a helmet or maybe sunglasses that is blocking the view. Make sure that the photo is, you know, simple, good quality, and it will make things easier for AI to train the model. Now, I'm going to click Upload Images. So I have these pictures that I actually created using AI. So uh, there are 24 pictures in total. Let me just open it and just wait for all those pictures to be uploaded. And yeah, this is basically just a selfie of a woman with red hair. And there is also a nose uh, piercing, I believe. And yeah, the, according to Higgsfield, the number of photos is good and the quality is excellent. Okay, there is this and uh, there is this name of the character. You can replace it if you want, but I'm not going to do so. So I'm going to be using the name that is provided by Higgsfield AI. Now, after all those photos have been uploaded, you can click generate a button and then just wait for Higgsfield to train uh, the photo. This will take quite a while and I'll be back when it's done. All right, so after about 10 minutes, the character has been trained and now it is ready to be used. You can click the generate button on the character that you want to create a picture of. And okay, so here it's actually going to be quite challenging to prompt Higgsville AI, at least from experience, because here you can describe the thing that you want to create. But at the same time, you have to select the preset and you know you cannot not select the preset you have to select a preset but it's almost like it is going to be competing with your own prompt and that's why i tend not to use prompt i just use any preset that is available for uh in his AI, and it's usually going to be much better although it is going to be kind of competing with your character as well because let's say if you're using uh this preset then the description of this scene might be in conflict with your character. So I don't know what's going on, but basically the UI is not quite intuitive at the moment. I hope they're fixing this problem because it's really, really confusing and I wasn't able to get the fullness of my character so far. But again, I hope that this UI will be improved in the future. Anyway, if you want to create a picture, I do recommend using Higgsfield Salt. That's the model that you want to use if you are planning to use your own character. And then you can select the aspect ratio. And then you can choose between basic or high. I think basic is okay. High is going to be better, but it's going to be more expensive. So I'm going to select basic. And yeah, you can select your own character. And then you can select the style or the preset. And you can click this generate button to create a set of pictures based on all the settings, based on the character and also the preset or visual style that you just choose. So I'll be back when it is done. Okay, so these are the results. Uh, the first row here is actually the basic version. And then this one is the high model. So it's 
I would say it's much more accurate to the actual character. And honestly, even at the highest version, it's not quite the same in my opinion because the hair color is not the same. It's much closer to brunette than redhead, but that's okay. And also, I do notice that the piercing is still there. You can see that there's piercing on the nose. It's actually pretty good. It's accurate. But again, maybe this is because of the issue with the UI itself because we are basically competing with the prom and visual style from Higgsville AI. I hope they're going to fix the problem so we can get a proper uh, UI and we can create a picture based on the prom that we, uh, we just choose. So that's basically how you can train your own character in Higgsville AI. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on my next video. Have a great day.